These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here, and today I'm gonna do a day one for this Oxpod Elite because, it, look at this, they are claiming 25,000 puffs, and this does not look like it has a puff counter on it. 0.8 ohm coil, five to 30 watts, nice, 1300 mAh battery. It looks a little bit like an Eco Nano to me. Real minimal packaging. It's like a disposable. And I don't know, it looks pretty sick, honestly. It's five on, five off, and that is the most simple little LCD display I've ever seen, at least on like a modern pod. All right, well, we got a 1300 mAh battery. I have an eight mil capacity pod right here, and there's some sort of fancy word that they're using to describe their new mesh in here. Give me a hypercoil. I don't know why he didn't just say that. Hypercoil, but that also kind of makes sense about my gripe later. Stay tuned. But how it vapes will tell me everything I really need to know. Yeah, let's keep that play area clean. It's one button operation. There is a USB-C on the bottom. There's an airflow controller on the back. I wish the back panel didn't advertise their pod juice liquid because I'm not using their pod juice liquid and it's not that I don't like their pod juice liquid. It generally just comes in too high of a nicotine for me to use. I'm using the same 12 milligram non-salt guava jelly that I've been using for five years now. It's five on, five off. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Three clicks lets me adjust the wattage up and down and two clicks lets me actually lock the fire button and let this just be an airflow switch. I'm sorry, I was wrong. The two clicks turns everything off. It's a child lock mode and the button never fires the pod 0.8 ohm coil 18 watts well that flavor's undeniably good i'm Im immediately upset that they're claiming 25,000 puffs on this and not including a puff counter why didn't they just say 20 30,000 40,000 50,000 100,000 puffs if you're not going to put a puff counter on it why bother? Prove it. <laughs> Prove it, Oxva. Today is Friday, October 18th, and this is day one. I will catch up with you at a latter date, and we'll see how this ox bar holds up to some, look, heavy use. Okay. Oh man, okay. So he here's everything that time told me. Time told me that this is a pretty okay vape, and I was genuinely a little bit disappointed by it. But I wanna preface this by saying, I like Oxva products, and that's why I'm disappointed with this, because I hold Oxva now to a little bit higher of a standard. I hold some companies to a little bit higher of a standard, and Oxva has reached the point where I hold them to a higher standard. Higher standard, higher standard. The Oxva Slim Go was the number one, sorry, spoilers, was the number one in the last pod ranking I did and even vaping it right now. It is a noticeably different experience and I'm gonna tell you why. Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, leaking none, zero, zilch, leaking zero, none. I keep that play area clean, keep all the liquid out of my battery, no leaking. I even like the screen. I like the little LCD kind of throwback look to it. I like the battery, I like the wattage. Again, I'd love a puff counter because claiming 25,000 puffs and not including a puff counter is in, in, in an instant full banana sticker off. I opened the white one as you saw and started having a pretty okay experience and then started having a not so great experience. So I went ahead and opened the blue one and had a similar pretty okay experience and then not such a great experience. The flavor's still pretty good. The airflow is where this gets a little wonky with me and the wattage is where this gets really wonky with me. It starts doing something weird below 19 watts. Both of these came with a 0.8 ohm coil so I can only speak to the 0.8 ohm coil and at 22 watts, the 0.8 ohm coil is the best it's gonna be. The flavor's not quite Oxfa flavor, but it's really dang good. I just worry, oh, it's real dang good, but it is real dang good, but I also worry about running a 0 0.8 ohm coil at 22 watts, the life of the coil, so I personally would like to knock this down a few watts. The problem is, when I get to like 19, 18 watts, it starts doing this weird spin buttering, fluttering kind of thing, like a helicopter or a rattlesnake sounds. Allow me to demonstrate. I don't know that it's gonna be a thing that you can hear, but I can hear it and I can feel it. And when I bite down on this, 
I can feel it and hear it more intensely, which I do a lot because another thing I really like about this is it's hands-free. It's real lightweight. It's a 1300 Ma battery, and I believe it. I've been getting stellar battery life out of these. Yeah, the 22 watt one is fine, and this one does the rattlesnake thing. And what it feels like is gurgle. Everybody knows the gurgle sensation. That's what this feels like. So I'm constantly flicking it out and that didn't help it. And I constantly flick it out and that didn't help it. And I thought, okay, this is just eternally gurgly till I turned up the wattage back to 22 watts. It went away. The gurgle went away. I like seeing pod companies and Oxva doing different stuff. And so of course the ox bar, I didn't wish it didn't say pod juice, but otherwise it's a cool idea. It's a cool design. I think as far as Oxva quality goes and the standard that I'm holding them to now, it does fall a little bit short. And I think that's going to have this fall down into about seven ish banana stickers. At the end of the day, the ox bar is, is kind of perfectly fine. Very acceptable. Can I do double hands free? Hell yeah. And just, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to turn this one as well down to 18 watches, which is where I would like to vape this. And it's going to rattlesnake as well. They both do. This one actually does it a little bit worse. And I am going to ramble if not already. So I can't tell you exactly where to get these. And I can't tell you exactly how much they cost, but I would be surprised to see them for more than $50. That might actually be kind of crazy for this. $50, 55 dollars what are you, stoned? I would be surprised to see these, honestly, above like 15 to $20. And something else he didn't mention the entire video, again, eight mil capacity. Eight mil capacity, come on, that's cool. That's nothing to blow your nose at. This is the end. And honestly, even with something like this, if you're still smoking combustible tobacco cigarettes, you should literally switch right away and literally all of the science says you should. It's never been easier. There's a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put some links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free every single day. Now kiss. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.